Right, now for lesson two, in which we will create a slightly more complicated and hopefully slightly more interesting video clip. But first things first, we are going to do what we probably should have done at the start of lesson one, which is to set up our wax settings properly. So we're going to go to project and settings, and we're going to set our file name properly this time. Click on this button. Um, to where we want to save it and what we want to call it. Now, fortunately, I've already set this up, so it will go into the right folder. But like every Save As um, dialog box that's ever popped up, I'm sure you'll be able to navigate it properly to wherever you want to save it. But I'm going to save it here and call it something original, like Lesson 2 Video. Right. And we're also going to alter the video size. I'm going to increase it in size a bit to my usual YouTube template which is 480 no, by 384 at 25 frames per second and we're also going to alter the um, compression agent used to Microsoft Video 1 now you can spend as much time as you like going through <clears throat> whatever other uh, compression options you have to see which one everyone suits you best but for the purposes of this we're going with Microsoft Video 1 and that will do just save that and there's something equally original as the video name so we'll go with Lesson 2 Project Woo! right so everything's set up the project is saved and we are ready so add media files these two in the handy files. Now, <coughs> we've got two media assets here. We have xlfinger.avi and t1screenless.bmp. xlfinger.avi, so we get the sound, is a 10 second clip from the Excel Saga anime. All right, so um, it's a it's, it's a very mental and quite entertaining anime. I, I'd recommend you at least find a way of watching the first two episodes because <laughs> they are quite entertaining. So we've got that. Yeah, we um, yes, I don't need it for the moment. Yes, yes, I'm sure I want to remove. And t one screenlessbmp is an image file, and it's an image file that is a screen capture from an episode of the animated G1 Transformers series. Love that show. And in this case, it's a screen capture of Teletran 1. Now, as I'm sure you've noticed, I've already doctored this by in uh, by removing the screen and replacing it with this amorphous, pinky, purpley thing there. And I doctored it using another slice of open source goodness, a program called The Gimp. It's quite good. I think so. Pretty doctored. And what we are going to do is have the Excel Saga anime playing on Teletran 1. So we've already got our overlay there. <coughs> our, well, our top level. So we'll drag and drop these and we'll just stretch out the uh, T1 screenless. And just give that a quick play. Alright, as you can see, so far so useless. We can't see a goddamn thing. Yes, I'm sure you've worked out by now. We are now going to remove this amorphous purpley pink blob thing. Excuse me. So we go to video plugins and we drag and drop chroma key onto the timeline. Now, chroma key, as I'm sure you've worked out by now, is a way of picking a colour to make transparent. Now as you can see we've got um, the some blobby purpley pinky things left over so to get rid of those we're going to make use of the tolerance slider down here. Really slowly but surely move that up you can see it's moving up here. they're disappearing, they're vanishing, they're vanishing whoop and 30. There we go. That's about right. Now all these other dotty bits you can see were there after I doctored it. I, I, I was in a rush. <laughs> um, but a very quick word of warning about the tolerance slider. 
at 0.3, in this case at least, um, it's taken away all the purpley colour. At 0.6, it's taken away most of the image, or rather made most of the image transparent. And whilst that is quite a funky effect, that's not quite what we're after. So don't be too overzealous with the use of tolerance. Right, doink. And a quick play. And there we see Excel's head shaking from side to side at the bottom of Teletran 1's main screen. Now, this is, again, not quite what we want. We want to have this playing in there. And to do that, in this case, we are going to use Quick 3D. Drag and drop. And we get a fairly <laughs> comprehensive list of options and such like for the video clip. One click, we can start manipulating Excel. So we'll quickly halve the size of the video, also the X position, also the Y position, up, along, up. Right, and already it's starting to look not too bad. Quick play. Indeed, Excel. Right, so that's not looking too bad, but again, Teletran 1 slanting sort of this way, and the Excel Saga Animate is not. So, what have we got? Ah, Rotate Z ought to help. Yeah. Now, remember, as far as this thing is concerned, remember the Z axis it starts about there, goes all the way back into infinity and all the way forward through the screen, through your skull, through the back of your head and out into infinity. Which is why it's rotating thusly. So, yeah, that looks like a fairly decent bit of rotation. And now, some more fiddling about with uh, positions. And for those of you who thought creating funky video effects was glamorous, no, it's not. It's just painstakingly annoying. Right, that's not looking too bad, but <clears throat> even so, I still think we can do a bit more to it to make it look like it's actually on the screen. So, what else have we got in Quick 3D? Um, ah, yeah, we can rotate it along the Y axis a bit. So, no, wrong way. V Doing. What do you think about there? Uh, yeah, minus thirty. Yeah, keep it with the threes. <laughs> to do it, and yeah, that's not too bad. But I still think we can uh, mess up with the perspective ever so slightly. Ha! There we go. That doesn't look too bad, does it? All right. Final stage project and render. Now we play the waiting game. Three, two, one, done! Right. Ah, let's go and find our video. That's um, movie stuff, uh, watch tutorial, listen to, listen to video.avi. And the video's been for and. That didn't come out too badly, did it? Right, I think that'll do for lesson two. See you in lesson three.